Good evening, viewers. We want to welcome you to Symphonia's virtual concert dubbed West of Hope, coming to you live from Accra, Ghana, today, 27th December, 2020. May the Lord bless you as you have joined us behind your screen to have this West of Hope through music from the Symphonia's. In fact, we love having you behind your screen. Before we start this program, we want to begin in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. So we'll call upon Pastor Emmanuel Harrison Techi, the Dean of Students of the Valley View University, to give us the opening prayer. Shall we pray? Father in heaven, we thank you for this wonderful time you've given to us to sing praises unto your holy name. You are mighty. You are glorious. There is nothing that human beings who want to live on this earth need that you cannot provide. You are called the almighty and the giver of life. This time we have come together to sing your praises. We have come together to exalt your name. We will not forget to say thank you for how you've taken care of every one of us, especially in this time of COVID, when human beings were thrown down from wherever they, they were to recognize that you are the only one who can be trusted and who can provide and who can sustain. This time as we come to sing, we recognize that without you we can do nothing. So we pray you, Lord in heaven, while people are struggling with all kinds of uh, problems, with all kinds of diseases, with all kinds of uh, anxieties and all kinds of hopelessness, we want to come to their doors and to their homes with this words of hope, which is the theme of our singing. We pray that, Lord in heaven, you grace this occasion with your presence and let every individual feel that you are the only hope they have. Thank you for the symphonias as they come to sing and bless them with words of hope so they can share with the entire universe. We bless you for the many people who are listening and we pray that everyone who is listening will be met at his point of need. And that person will be a contagious blessing to bless others who come in contact with him. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you for we've prayed in Jesus' name. Amen.
Symphonians will be giving us the first performance, and I want to introduce myself as the MC of this program in the person of Samuel Oforiata. May the Lord bless you as you have joined us. There is a quotation from Jeremiah, chapter 29, verse 11. It says, I know the plans I have for you, declared the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. May the Lord bless this.
Menschen
Hallelujah. That was a wonderful performance from the Symphonials Ghana coming to you live from Accra, Ghana. As we have been told, this is a virtual concert dubbed West of Hope. May the Lord bless the Symphonials. In fact, we want to get some feedbacks from you right behind your screen uh, in the comment section, and we we'll love getting those feedbacks as we run through this virtual concert from Symphonials Ghana. We want to acknowledge these sponsors and thank them for the human's job that they've done for us by sponsoring this live concert that came to you all the way from Accra, dubbed West of Hope. We have first on our list is Yoga Valley View University Chaplaincy, the Vice Chancellor of Valley View University, Professor Bediakon, Pastor Emmanuel Harrison Techi, the Dean of Students of Valley View University, Sluvas Production. They have been of help both for the video and the audio and the stage and everything that we see beautifully here. Dr. Samuel Awuku, our music composers, Reverend Dr. Joyce Aye, Mr. and Mrs. Kofuo, Mr. and Mrs. Nkansa, Mr. and Mrs. Safo, and all our patrons and lovers and followers on Facebook, YouTube, and all our social media handlers. At this moment, we want to take some words of hope from the Vice Chancellor of the Valley View University in the person of Professor Daniel Bediakon. A Greek philosopher called Sophocles once said, I quote, it is hope that maintains most of mankind, unquote. But what kind of hope did he have in mind? Whatever that was, the Greek concept of hope was an ambiguous, open-ended future. A future that could be pleasant or unpleasant. A future that was ultimately hopeless. But the Bible teaches that the God of Israel is a God of hope. And he himself assures us that he has good intentions and plans for, for us. Plans that also include the ultimate restoration of humanity from our falling, helplessly decaying condition. There is a famous promise in the book of Jeremiah. I quote, For I know the plans that I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans for welfare and not for calamity, to give you a future and a hope. Jeremiah 29, verse 11. Jeremiah 29 is a love letter from God to the prophet, to the captives in Babylon. The purpose was to reiterate the fact that the captivity would last 70 years, contrary to the false hopes of a speedy return being ignited by the false prophets and to inspire hope in the captives that their God reigns and that he cares for his people. The people of Judah were suffering the consequences of their own misdeeds. Yet even in exile, they were encouraged to build houses and plant vineyards, to marry and multiply, and to pray for the welfare of the city where they had been exiled. The people were to suffer the captivity for many years, but God promised to visit them to fulfill his good word. God's plans are for welfare, for a future and hope, a hopeful end. This is the blessed hope which brings to culmination the plan of salvation. Indeed, biblical hope is the confident expectation of a divinely promised future reality the certainty of which is anchored in the Christ event, the death and resurrection of Christ Jesus, the promise of his second coming. It is a future free of viruses, job losses, and death. It is a future of blissful eternity. This is our hope, and it is a living hope that must produce an unqualified devotion to Christ and his cause. COVID-19 has been a nightmare. It has destabilized humanity. 
Everyone is afraid of the virus. This fear is not just about contracting the virus, but more importantly about the future. People have lost their jobs as businesses have shut down. What will the post-COVID era look like? Is there hope? Yes, there is hope. Believers in Christ are called to look beyond the current crisis and focus on the future, the future God has promised. Even as we grow up in this current crisis, let us build houses and plant our gardens. Let us seek the welfare of Ghana. Let us not lose hope. Our bones must not dry. God is ever with his people, even in their calamities. As it was with Israel, he has promised to intervene in our situation, and he will surely visit us at the right time. As we listen to the symphonial sing, let us join them to sing away our worries and cares. Let us join them to sing to our maker who rules over the universe. And may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace so that by the power of the Holy Spirit you may abound in hope. Thank you very much. Amen.
showers of blessing. This is the promise of love. There shall be seasons refreshing sent from the Savior above. Showers of blessing. Showers of blessing.
Yes way, yes way, yes way, yes way. I know no more, I know them no more. I don't know. I can't wait. I'm moving. I'm trying to.
all too soon, we are coming to the end of this virtual concert from the Symphonials Ghana. In fact, I have really enjoyed the performances Symphonials Ghana has stand for us, and we want to praise the Lord. We want to magnify his name for what he has done for us. And we say, may the Lord bless the Symphonials Ghana. In fact, these performances and this virtual concert has been a tip of the iceberg for the 15th anniversary of the Symphonials. In fact, there is more to come, so always watch this space and Symphonials will update us on the programs that will come for our 15th anniversary. May the Lord bless you for sticking glue to your seat to make this live virtual musical concert a success. May the Lord bless you. We'll close our eyes and take our closing prayer as we draw the curtains down for this live concert. Shall we make time in prayer? Eternal Father, we want to thank you for giving us this opportunity. We want to thank you for the lives of our dear brothers and sisters who have made time for this great program. We want to thank you for the lives of the singing group also, for making time for this great day. We ask for your blessings. We ask that these songs that we are listening may have great impacts on our lives. As we end this program, we pray that whoever listens to this song, wherever that individual may be, may this song go to that extent of making a huge impact in his or her life. Bless us all and grant us your peace. And now may the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Amen.